Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Today we're going to smoke a wine marinated flank steak with bacon, onion, and mushroom sauce. And we're going to be cooking this on our pit barrel cooker. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Let me start off by setting the stage. Okay, picture this. A beautifully marbled flank steak that has just been smoked on a pit barrel cooker sits in front of you. But this isn't just a steak that has been married in some red wine. We have an incredible bacon, onion, and mushroom sauce that we're going to drizzle right on top. Then we'll add some side dishes like potato wedges or grilled asparagus, making this an awesome meal to have with family and friends. On to the ingredients. We've got a gorgeous sling steak. I like this cut as it's readily available, very versatile, and economical. However, the cut is definitely on the lean side, so we will marinate it in some red wine. The wine marinade will infuse the steak with depth and richness, and would also tenderize the meat. For the sauce, we'll need some onions, bacon, and mushrooms. Those are the ingredients. It's now time to start our marinade. The key to a perfectly marinated flake steak is time. We want those flavors to mingle and meld. So in a resealable bag, pour wine, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and olive oil over the steak. It is totally up to you, but I have scored the steak in a diamond pattern. Doing so will break up the tendons and lead to a tender steak. I'll let this marinate for at least four hours, uh, preferably overnight. Then after the steak has marinated, we will remove it from the bag and rinse off the excess marinade. We'll blot the steak dry with a paper towel, and then we'll season the steak with salt pepper after we've added an olive oil binder. The steak can be left out to absorb the seasoning, and next we'll move on to starting our pit barrel cooker. We'll use about a half a charcoal basket and one full charcoal chimney. Once the coals in the charcoal chimney have ashed over, we'll add them to the charcoal basket. Then we'll wait about 10 to 15 minutes while the unlit coals ignite. Then we'll add a few uh, flavoring wood chucks. I love to use apple wood. While the pit barrel cooker is coming up to tent, we will make the sauce. We'll add bacon to a pan over medium heat. Cook the bacon to our preferred doneness. And then in the same pan, that you cook the bacon in will add onion, garlic, and mushrooms and cook until browned. This typically takes three to five minutes. We'll then increase the heat to high and then add some wine. We'll allow the sauce to boil and then add some beef stock. Next, we'll add some flour and some butter to the mixture to thicken the sauce. Reduce the heat and allow the sauce to thicken. While the sauce is thickening, we will put our steak on the pit barrel cooker. Expect a quick smoking session for our flank steak due to its low fat content and the thin cut. A brief three to five minutes per side should do the trick. Our aim today is a rare steak. We'll be targeting a temperature of 120 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And the plan is to perform a reverse sear in a pan, which usually results in a perfectly medium rare steak. Now that we're approaching our desired temperature, it's time to remove it from the pit barrel cooker. Let's go inside and sear this baby in a pan over high heat. To the pan, I'll add some butter and some thyme. I tend to scoop the butter right on top of the steak while it is cooking. The steak only needs about two minutes per side in order to develop a nice sear. As you can see here, our butter had melted fast because my pan was too hot. So I added another tablespoon of butter. Once I have the desired sear, I'll remove it from the pan and allow the steak to rest for about five minutes before slicing. Slice the steak into thin strips against the grain. Add the sauce along with some potato wedges. And there you have it, a wine marinated flank steak smoked on the pit barrel cooker with a bacon and onion mushroom sauce. Trust me when I say this meal has such an awesome richness and earthiness to it and you'll definitely need seconds or maybe even thirds if you like content like this make sure to like and subscribe and until next time keep those fires burning and those taste buds tangling have a good one